What's going on, my truckers? Welcome to my truck news. Email us at mytruckernews at gmail.com. I've had a lot of truck drivers slash farmers reach out to me and go, Alex, we need to talk about this situation here. And if you haven't heard, uh, John Deere is pretty much laying off 600 employees from three U.S. factories and moving to Mexico. So the first question at hand is, are you going to still support them or will you not? because they're moving it to Mexico. You know, um, when I look at their safer score, their safer score actually says that they have 390 truck drivers. So my question to you is, I've seen other companies carry their equipment, but do they have a private fleet as well? You know, uh, comment down below if you know the answer. Here's an image here. It says, in this aerial view, Construction and farming vehicles manufactured by John Deere are loaded onto trucks at John Deere uh, Dubuque Works facility on October 15, 2021 in Dubuque, Iowa. And so there's a lot of trucking that's involved in picking up their farm equipment. And so my question is, even though there are 600 layoffs and I'm praying that everybody finds another job, you know, their severance package, I believe, is uh, gives them 26 weeks of pay. But besides that, how does this trickle effect affect the trucking industry as well? You know, uh, Mud Truckers, comment down below. I'm very curious to hear from you guys what your thoughts about this. But let's read into this a little bit and why they say they're moving to Mexico. So John Deere announced it will lay off about 600 employees across three U.S. factories in Illinois-based company shifts production in newly planned facility in Ramos, Mexico. So effective August 30th, about 310 employees will be laid off at two Iowa-based plants, right? And as well as 280 from a factory in Illinois. In total, the three factories have roughly 4,175 production and maintenance employees. The Illinois factory primarily produces harvesting equipment such as combines, while the two Iowa factories manufacture construction and forestry equipment. Quote, unquote, these changes are being made due to reduced demand for the products produced at these facilities. The company told CNN in a statement Friday to better position deer to meet future demands. We continue to take proactive steps to reduce production and inventory. The company has reported slumping year-over-year -year revenue after announcing a net income of more than $10.16 billion in 2023. Wow. You know, my truckers, comment down below what your thoughts about this, how you think this affects uh, truck drivers, uh, how do you think it affects the farmers uh, overall, all above. But it looks like uh, they're going to uh, move their demand in Mexico, and they've been doing it slowly already. You know, some theories here, people say it's because of the union. Uh, other people uh, state it's just not enough demand. So what is it? What are your thoughts? And, you know, this is the breaking news that's going on right now that every truck driver and farmer wants me to talk about. So we're going to have that conversation.